to better understand the question of risk, you also have to look at the counterpart, which is benefit. Anytime you have a risk, there is also a potential benefit. And in this case, when we talk about the airport scanners, the benefit is, of course, to create safer flying, fewer deaths in the air, and we all remember 9-11. So that is the benefit side by reducing our risk of disaster. Another area where we always discuss risk and benefit, that's in a hospital, like here in the Department of Radiology. Anytime a patient comes for x-ray, CAT scanning, there's of course a risk, but the benefit is always there. So if you have had an accident, we need to know if you have a fracture. If there's suspicion for a cancer, the benefit is that we can find it, but there is a risk, but it's always worthwhile taking that risk. Radiation is a very difficult area to understand because the measures that we use for radiation are very complex. But to better understand these scanners at the airports, I would like to introduce something that is called background radiation. Background radiation is something that hits everyone 24-7 just by existing, just by living anywhere. And this radiation comes from the ground, it comes from the walls of a house, depending on what the house was built upon, and it also comes from the deep uh, sky. It all, it's actually a remnant from the Big Bang many billion years ago. So this is something we're living with every day. So now if we look at one of these exams that are done at the airport, one single exam, that gives you just about the same radiation as driving to the airport. That is about 30 minutes of background radiation. So the amount of radiation is very, very low and we have it on us every day 24-7. There is no way we can escape it. And the really funny part here is that the further away from the Earth's surface you are, the more background radiation from the sky you get. So anyone who is flying for six hours will get maybe 300 times more the background radiation dose than one single backscatter scanner gives you. Or if you decide to fly to Europe, that's a round trip of a total maybe 18 hours. That will give you a thousand times more radiation than getting one scan. In summary, I would say that the risks with the machines at the airports, the x-ray machines at the airports, are very, very, very close to zero. Nobody who's traveling needs to have any concerns about the radiation. When it comes to the other piece, the privacy issue, then that is something we can discuss separately, but with this I hope I have calmed everyone regarding any concerns about dangerous radiation.